Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Monday.com with Notion. The first thing I'm going to compare are pricing plans and then I'm going to compare features like how to add tasks in both of these tools and then what kind of templates they have, what kind of view you can use. Also in the end of the video you are going to get my recommendation like which one I recommend for you to use so you can check it out. Without further ado, let's start. Regards pricing plans, Monday.com is more expensive comparing to Notion. Notion offers you also a free account and then you get team $8 per member per month. Unlimited team members, collaborative workspace, literally everything, advanced permissions. In Monday.com you have free seats minimal and then you have only 14 day free trial. And you see it right here, $8 per seat per month, $10, I mean 10 euro per seat per month and 16 euro. So that's like $10 and monthly it's even more yearly you're going to save 18%. So you can see here that Monday.com is more expensive. But the question is, is Monday.com better comparing to Notion when we compare main features? Let's find out. In this part, I'm going to show you how you can add workspaces, tasks, what are the differences also in custom fields, views and templates. So in Monday.com, you just click on the three dots here. And you click add a new workspace workspace name let's go notion and monday our friends create a workspace and voila here we got it you got a filter here search and what you can do invite members or simply click add new board or you can choose from template i'm going to stop here on the templates so i can actually get here with notion and then we're going to choose to get our template and how many templates they have, etc. In Notion, you simply go on the top left. You can join or create a workspace. How are you planning to use Notion? We'll streamline your setup experience accordingly with my team. Continue. And Monday, company size, two or five people, starting team marketing, continue. Getting ready. And let's just wait until it loads. And I wanted, I don't want to skip this part so you can actually see how it works. Then you're going to see the invite link here and take me to Notion. And now OK. And here. So we, we are the workspaces that are automatically added here. I would delete this. And what you can do is to simply click here template. Right. And you have multiple templates that you can use in Notion. But that's the same with Monday.com. I can really say that they are both in the same level. Yes, you can do the CRM with Monday.com. But when you compare every single like product management, sales, support, they are quite similar what you can actually do. Right? Sales wiki, competitive analysis. Plenty of templates, or even there are templates that are created by people that make YouTube videos, so you can actually get a notion of those templates. But still, they are both good customer requests. You can simply click use. I can go here and add an engineering to do and use this template, right? And voila, here we have it. And we are using this template too. So when I compare the templates, they are both on the same level. They're both good. And now we can see they got a private and then workspace. And now what you can do actually. So how we can add the tasks. There are multiple ways how we can add it in Notion. In Notion, when you have a Kanban status, you can click new and type a name. Let's go YouTube video. I can click on it. And what I really like about Notion is that you can actually add a table, everything directly in task. So let's say that you have some financing table and you want to add it directly to task, you can do it. In Monday.com, you will be unable to do it. You can assign it. Then you're gonna see status here, priority. These are the all things that you would see in list. You can also add a different property for the task. And what I mean when you can add like table here, look at this. I can simply add a table here or timeline. table full page I can do it like this 
and when you add a full page it will direct it to the complete new page but what you can do is to add table inline and it will be directly in your task so this is the main difference between monday.com and notion the notion is more complex in this way in monday.com i simply click add a request or add a task it doesn't matter it's the same thing click on it and now you can add write an update you can see activity log what was happening and that's pretty much it and you can assign it to someone so yeah also what you can do is to click on an arrow here and add a sub item but as you can see the sub item looks not that great right the sub item are okay-ish but still i don't know you can also create a new group of requests if you want to so this is how we can add items and how we can add tasks here also in notion you can go like this table and i will go full page and i can simply add a task i can click on it open and voila i can manage it as much as i want now let's go to the next thing and that's custom fields so in money.com i just scroll money.com is completely dominating custom fields of notion because when I click here, more columns, you can add things like, not only dependencies, you can add progress tracking. You can add also time tracking. You see right here. And Notion got it too like that. Click plus here. And you have options to add number, select, multi-select date. But in many ways, you can do more with monday.com. You can add also formula. It, this really depends on what you need. So if you need like, let's say formula and when's formula, go with the notion. If you need time tracking and creation log and button and also on week color picker, I would go with monday.com. So this is like, they're in some way different, but monday.com has more options for custom fields and email column, etc. But notion is still good. I mean, Notion is on a higher level comparing to, I don't know, even, let's say, Asana, right? Now, when we got it, the next thing I want to show you are views. And this is really interesting. In Notion, what I really like is this. In Notion, you can go slash and you can add multiple views in one page. So we can go, let's say, go with a table where I have finances. Then I would have calendar in line, and then I would also add Kanban board in line, right? And as you can see, we got everything in one page, so it can be like really great connected. Or what you can do is to add a slash board and have a full page. When you're going to enter it as a full page, you won't be able to add anything else to that page only the kanban board in monday.com what you can do they have multiple options you click all views here and you can simply add a view and see here gantt calendar chart kanban uh, notion got table also with kanban also with calendar with timeline form doesn't have notion but you can really add the text and everything and you can simply add more views and you see it right here and you can also add apps by Monday. So that's what you can actually do. Chart, workload, map, calendar, form, Kanban. Plenty of things, right? Really play around as much as you want. So they are literally on the same level. Notion, I mean, Monday.com is winning because you can have a map, workload, or form, you don't have it in Notion, but if you don't need it, I don't really see a point going to money.com because of this, right? So this is the first thing. Another thing I wanted to show you is comparison between Kanban boards. So in Todo, in Notion, I can simply move between next up, progress, complete. In money.com, look how it looks like. It's not really, you know, I mean, what the f You got a split view here, full screen view, and you can add a request. This is a request, but as you can see, the notion 
to do is much much better comparing to monday.com so that would be my recommendation so if you want to use Kanban boards, just go with the Notion. Let's go now to the integrations and Google Play application. Right now, when we talk about the integrations, Notion offers you with Automate.io and also with, uh, you can see right here, Zapier that you can use and connect to Notion multiple things. And Monday.com on the left bottom, we just click on integrations. And they got also with Zapier, with Toggle and others with Harvest, Eventbrite, LinkedIn, that you can actually play around it and they're like on the same level not so different and then you can go to google play now temporarily temporarily allow it i can go to notion and then monday and they are again on the same level so both notion and monday.com i recommend using them uh, if you want to use it on mobile, you're not going to make a mistake. I like Notion more personally, because I work with Notion, but Monday.com is all right too. Another thing what I wanted to show you is the automations that you can do in Monday.com. And this is something that can be really useful. When a group contains more items than value, notify someone, notify someone. When a person is assigned to someone, move item to the group. And you can really choose automations here. And in that, Monday.com is good. But still, in my opinion, it can be useful for you if you want it to. Let's go to the recommendation. So what is actually my recommendation? Both Monday.com and Notion are amazing tools that you can use for project management. But I would choose Monday.com if you want to use multiple views. Like let's say that you want to use a map, uh, a form here, or online docs, like I don't even know, chart here. In that way, Monday.com is amazing. But when you just compare the Kanban boards, I really think that Notion is much better comparing to that. Also, Notion offers you the way that you can add directly to your tasks, you can add tables. So I can add it like this. And I think that I would possibly use in Notion, uh, like I would go with the Notion comparing to Monday.com. And let me explain why. So right now I'm going to have a new employee in two months. And for project management, I'm going to use Notion and I'm going to do it like this. So it really depends what you need, but this is why it should be enough for me. I would click here, add the workspace. I would choose database as a board. Directly, I would rename it Monday. Then I, what can I do? I can duplicate the same thing and go for every single day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, literally everything. And then I can simply have a task management as card one and I can go make this video, right? Then it's going to be not started, in progress, completed. And then it is going to make in the day free videos. You can simply delete it, right? Or I can do a few more things like tweak it like that, that he would add it to some new group and completely done videos. And this is how would I do it. And now I would have it for every single day. Doing that in Monday.com, it's possible too. Have like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or add a new fields where you can add it but still it depends really what you need and what you want you know i like notion more for this and i think it's going to be great in this way so thank you very much everybody for watching if you have any questions ask me down in the comments both templates are really amazing in both of these tools and it's hard to hard to even choose like which one is better and which one is not so yeah thank you very much have a great day and goodbye see